I am Retna, and I'm from MSK and AWR. I started maybe about 1987, I think it was. I was in the third grade. I ended up uh, gravitating towards these kids that were doing some drawings on graffiti, uh, of graffiti pieces and stuff like that. And I would try to replicate my name, you know, as they were doing it. I caught my first tag uh, back in 1990. I think I did my first piece in 91. I went to a different school. I met another kid who knew about the history of LA graffiti, like your Chakas, the IFK, the LODs and all that. Got into a lot of trouble there. I went to another school called St. Timothy's where I met this other kid from a wealthy black family. And what he taught me was style. And at the first school I got the introduction, second school I got the history, third school I basically got the, the wild style. At that school that I was going to, I met these kids from Beverly Hills. They wanted me to come over to their crib, some mansion, got fucking pieces all over the fucking shit, you know? So they let me do a throw up back there. I ended up becoming part of their crew, TG and then FH. This cat, uh, Deuce from FH, he was the first person that actually got me into piecing. He said some really important words to me. He was like, if you start now, you'll be competing with the people that you're actually already looking up to. I was known to do at all these private schools, why I would get in trouble is basically I would turn all the kids into graffiti writers. When the shit hit the fan, I would be the one that got in trouble. And I went to Fairfax, finally went to a school where there was real writers. They were already built and made, they had already been doing their fucking thing. I ended up meeting a lot of my long-term friends from there. I got kind of disillusioned with the whole Beverly Hills kind of lifestyle. And I just remember, I'm like, you know what, I'd rather go hang out in the hood with, with these cats because you guys have it. You're so fortunate and you guys are just throwing it away that I'd rather just go chill with the homies that maybe don't have it, but at least they're not losing it or fucking it up, you know? I lost a couple of these great friends of mine. Verse and Air. Air. <clears throat> He was amazing. He was very important to, to all of us. And I think a lot of us were kind of emotionally unstable throughout that whole period. And he ended up uh, taking his own life. One of the main reasons we continued to carry on and work very hard was because I feel like he's still out there with Verse and all our other people that, that have passed away still doing their thing. I just want them to know that I did everything that I could while I was here, knowing that they're out there working. You know, when things are going good for me, I feel that they're kind of helping kind of make some of those things happen for me. And that's what kind of keeps me going. And then that's where I think a lot of then the meaning starts to come in. Like, okay, what is all this really, really at the end of the day for? You know, and that's kind of what my art is after. We all try to advance the culture in our own way, and that's why to me it's such a beautiful culture because you can't stop it. It's a worldwide movement. There's something, you know, strong to say, I think, about that. There's something real that's there. And I feel fortunate if I could just be a little speck in that whole thing that I was a little bit of part of that and I'm grateful that, that I am.